Hi guys, good to see you again. I hope you're all well and I hope you're keeping busy during this lockdown period. I know I certainly am. And thanks to my new lockdown hairstyle with the uh, possible exception of a little patch over here, I am now camera worthy. So I wanted to talk to you about the American football draft, which has been going on over the last three days. And while there's been a lot of excitement over who went number one overall, which wide receiver came off the board first and and where the hot young Hawaiian quarterback went. The thing that was most interesting to me was actually something so boring, so predictable that it's barely made a ripple. I'm talking about the New England Patriots decision to trade out of the first round. For those not familiar with this process, this means the Patriots voluntarily gave up their place in the draft, giving it to an opposing team for them to pick first and accepting that they risk losing a player that they might have their eye on. As surprising a move as this may appear, it's not uncommon for NFL teams to do this. Saying that, it's practically expected of the New England Patriots. After all, they've been without a first round pick in four of the last eight seasons. Why? The answer is their head coach and de facto general manager, Bill Belichick. Belichick has a reputation for being the sort of coach who doesn't really go for stars. Yes, he's coached some of the most successful uh, teams of the last 20 years, so of course he's had players who are celebrated, not least of all the greatest quarterback of all time, Tom Brady. But even players like Brady, who, by the way, went got drafted at 199th overall when he came into the league, even players like Brady, they don't have a reputation for being flashy, they're not show-offs, they tend to be guys who work hard, who are humble, and who sacrificed themselves for the good of the team. The Patriots' motto in recent seasons? Simply, do your job. For Belichick, the team is the star. So how does this link back to marketing? Well, let me do a very quick rewind. Some of you will have seen my previous comment piece in which I talked about how adopting a sports management uh, approach to your tactical marketing activity can help get the best results for your business even in uncertain times. For example, email marketing can be used to drive revenue from new customers uh, and what I would describe as an attack-minded activity if you follow the sporting analogy, but it can also be used to build loyalty and to keep current customers engaged and happy, which is fundamentally a protect what you have or defensive uh, activity. The trick is understanding what the current circumstances are and how to best use each marketing activity to drive results given the circumstances. To return to the sporting analogy, that article looked at the players on the pitch and the tactics you use to get the most out of them. What it didn't look at was the role of strategy and leadership. The players on a team only know how they're expected to play based on the personality, the beliefs and the systems of their manager. Similarly, a marketing strategist with a clear identity and set of philosophies can drive results more quickly for a company through making sure that every technician working on the account is clear on the approach. It's about ensuring all marketing activities align and are coherent. By the way, there is no universal right and wrong way uh, to strategize in sports or in marketing. Different approaches suit different circumstances so that while Belichick's approach works perfectly in Boston, it might not be embraced in somewhere like, for example, Miami, although I'm sure the Dolphins would have loved to have had the success the Pats have had over the last few seasons. Marketing strategists are the same. One strategist who's great at driving quick sales from marketing activity may be perfectly suited to one company. Meanwhile, a strategist whose strength is building communities and loyalty around brands would be better suited to another. So back to Belichick. The New England Patriots have been the most successful NFL team of the last two decades in large part because Bill Belichick has a considered, consistent and compelling strategy. He knows what he expects from his players and therefore who he wants to bring into the building. 
trading out of round one of the draft is part of that strategy. He doesn't want egos. He wants underrated guys with chips on their shoulder who are prepared to work hard and do their job. Companies looking to bring in a chief marketing officer, my suggestion to you is that you think of them like your favorite team's manager. Find out what their philosophy is, what their approach, their strategy is, and hire according to your company's needs and values.